Yo, it's Oko, and we're reacting to Boy With You, uh, Trauma. Hey. Hey, yo, come here. Come here, come here. Hey, a lot of y'all been spamming my DMs like crazy with, uh, Boy With You, Trauma song that I just dropped. I know it dropped. Y'all been telling me for weeks that it's gonna come out on the 4th. Y'all been saying it for months, I think, as well, man. And now that the song actually drops, y'all are in my DM. I'm surprised a lot of y'all even follow my Instagram and my Twitter, which is, it's Oko, by the way, if you wanna follow. Which is kind of crazy because I feel like a lot of these reactions, I'm just chatting most of the time, you know? But y'all seem to like the reactions, so that's, I mean, that's really cool, you know? It's actually, it feels pretty nice, you know? You know, feeling wanted by the people. But, yeah, nah. Uh, we're gonna check it out. <laughs> I know you both, you enthusiasts have been waiting, so let's get to it. I think this might be kind of, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the edits. We'll see. Yo, yo, fight, fight! Get over here, fight! World star, world star, fight, fight! Get over here! Yo, yo! World Star? Is that even a thing anymore? Y'all still watch World Star? Ah, World Star? That hasn't really been big since like, bro. I don't know when they fell off actually. Boys, chill, chill, chill. Like just probably, okay? Three, two, one. Why? Why are you recording? In your slump. He? How do? Wait. How did you miss the guy that you were fighting was right in front of you, man? How do you? How do you? Drop my goddamn mic and I just closed the goddamn thingy, man. Hey, you restore me. Yo, yo! Uh, bro, right, fight, fight, get over here, fight! World star, world star, fight, fight, get over here! Yo, yo, boys, chill, so, chill, I'm so surprised he missed, but... Okay. Three, happens. two, one, fight! Oh! Yo, oh Oh, poverty trauma? Hey, I can relate. Let's go. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright. <laughs> I didn't have a room, had to buy you shoes I hid behind tunes to avoid abuse And every time I fell, I would blame it on myself Even if it was an accident Maybe it's not what I want Yeah Oh, I've seen better days yes, sir. And the moment fucking sucks He's spitting But I'll be damned if I don't stop And honestly, why not When nobody gives a fuck Mmm, that's kind of hard. That's a caption. Is that what I'm Dante says? Also, speaking of I'm Dante, yo, please stop saying I look like that, man. So we don't look, so, we don't look nothing alike. I got so many comments saying I'm Dante. Like, bro, you're not funny. You've never been funny. No one loves you. Stop it. All right, that was kind of harsh. My fault. But not. Nah, I mean, he he's right, man. Why why stop pursuing something that's gonna get you out of that dark space? If you know what I'm saying, you're in you're in that spot and you feel miserable, right? Plus, no one cares. I mean, you of course, family and friends and kids, but like, if we're, if we're just being general and just saying it, no one really cares, bro. They don't care what you do. And even if they did care, they, that shouldn't stop you from being or doing or pursuing what you want to pursue. So I, I agree with him wholeheartedly. Yeah, yeah. This sounds really good. I'm not gonna lie, but you know what's crazy? I, I I've been saying this before, but boy with you, the way he starts, like the the subject matter of the songs, are so different from what's like playing on the instrumentals, man. It's crazy to me. It's like it's really it's really cool though. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Like if you hear what he's saying in the volume, you hear like, it's kind of a beady. It's like, huh? What do we? It's like it makes again. It makes you want to dance, even though. Listen to the lyrics, it's like, what? Now you can't tell me you don't want to dance to this. Was an outcast, thrown out to dry and get laughed at. Too shy to talk about home. I always thought life was supposed to be cold. 
Bro, people were, um, people don't understand how bullying is like. This shit's crazy, especially back then. Oh, oh. I mean, I never got put in a situation like this. The most I ever got into was like roast with like other ugly ass kids. But for the most part, like I've never been, it's never been too extreme. I ain't never let no random fella come up and touch me or throw anything at me. Now, on the chance of getting jumped, if something did happen, probably high, considering the high school I went to. But you know what I mean? This is this is absolutely crazy. You gotta be a bun. You really gotta be a fucking loser if you need two people to jump one kid to pick on one kid. Like you tell me, out of all the kids in this school, you need to oh, bro. I don't know. Shit's weird. If you're a bully, bro. You're a fucking loser. I'm not gonna lie. Too shy to talk about home. I always thought life was supposed to be cold and oh, I've been so lost. Hey, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fight back. But even then, when you fight back, yup, exactly. There's still two of them, bro. Imagine. I should be listening to the lyrics, bro. I'm sorry. I'm pausing, but I'm like, I'm thinking about this. People really used to dump other kids' heads in the toilet, bro. If I would come, bro, if it, bro, best believe, bro, if that happened to me, I pulled up to the school. I'm not gonna say what I'm saying, but you feel what I'm saying, you feel me? <laughs> let me stop, let me stop. That's that's dark, that's dark, that's dark. But I don't know. Let's go back, let's go back. I'm sorry, I missed a lot of stuff. Bro, it's still slow. That punch did numbers. Myself, I was an outcast, thrown out to dry and get laughed at. Too shy to talk about home. I always thought life was supposed to be cold and oh. And bro, that's that's how you know you've been through a lot. I mean, his childhood wasn't the best, not at home, and it doesn't seem like it was the best at school. So I can definitely understand why your outlook would be that way, where you just feel like life is supposed to be miserable. And see this, oh, bro. I've been so lost without hope. I got a window in my head, it's a casket. You know I'd be wishing I was dead, but I'm asking. Oh, this shit's so relatable, bro. Sometimes, you know, it's... Bro, life is so hard, man. Life is so hard, bro. It, it, is, it is a struggle, and your brain will definitely play tricks on you to the point where you're like, bro, why am I even living? That's what I was just gonna say. A lot of people who grow up like this know the childhood's trash, school, you you leave home to escape to go to school, and that's probably worse. So now it's like, your life sucks. Why am I even, you know what I'm saying? And like, that's why the suicide rate is probably so high along, well, I mean, there's a, a bunch of other reasons, right? There's a, a shit ton of other reasons. But this is definitely a cause of it too, bro. It's like, I don't know. I feel like if I grew up like that, I feel like I would definitely be a lot more depressed than what I am. And I already want to die, you know? So, it, it it's crazy. I got a window in my head, it's a casket. You know I be wishing I was dead, but I'm asking. Baby, it's not what I want. Oh, I've seen better days. And the moment fucking sucks. Thanks. But I'll be damned if I don't stop. And honestly, why not? When nobody gives a fuck. That's what I'm saying, bro. Get up, get up. It seems like look, it, and also look, look at the, look at his past, and compared to now, he is chilling with friends. He was at a party. I mean, he got slumped up or whatever, but he was at a party. He was with friends. He was getting rolled in like a, a roller cart. Is a roller a cart? I'm just gonna say a cart, a grocery cart with a friends. And now he has friends around him. They're all playing football. It seems like or tag. So it's like a polar opposite. Oh no, they're playing. Yeah, they're playing football. Same thing. Keep hurting yourself, but hey, bro, you stumble, you fall, you get back up. What did Uncle Iroh say from the Avatar? Um, this is oh, this is a great quote. It's a great quote. Um, look for the light, and you'll often find it. But search for the dark, and that's all you'll see, bro. Which is pretty much saying, if you're in that dark spot, right? Look for the bright thing. Look for something to keep you pushing, to keep you moving, and you'll eventually get to that better place, right? But if you're always looking at the negatives in your life and you're only listening, you're never seeing any of the positive, then that's all you'll ever see, which means you'll probably always be stuck. There will be no point. Well, not no point. There will be a point where it's it's hard for you to just move forward. You can't even take baby steps because you're so blinded by all the negativity and all the, the depressing stuff in your life. You know, I mean, again, all that is easier said to done as someone who, you know, I don't really I don't know. I feel kind of numb right now towards a lot of stuff. And it's not, I think it's just depression. But again, 
it's easier to say these things and then, then to actually like put it in play you know but again if you want to be that person that gets out of that place that you're in you have to keep moving forward all right i know it's you sometimes you do gotta talk it takes a little longer for people you know it, it varies but you know whether it takes like a few weeks a month or however long once you get to that spot at the end you're not stuck there and you're making progress even if it's like the smallest progress ever like then you're doing great bro whether it's like taking a shower at least once or twice a day or or every other day or slowly cleaning up your room or whatever to get you out of that slump man as long as you're doing something slowly it doesn't have to be big to get out of that slump bro you're you're doing great and then you can say the same thing with, towards your career and stuff like that too i'm not a motivational speaker or anything it's just that i uh life is just hard for me as well you know oh, i know it's in my I just can't. You got a girl, someone support him, friends, all that stuff, man. And I know that it's like, it's crazy that you could be, you could feel so alone, right? But I feel like once you turn around, you can see so many people, to, you know, that's there to support you, you know, who are, who are there for you as well. But sometimes, I don't know, sometimes it does feel like, I'm not going to lie, that like for me example i have a lot of supportive friends i have a lot of supportive people in my life right but sometimes i feel like even though i have all these people that i would call them like my brothers right my brothers my sisters i still kind of feel alone sometimes i'm not gonna lie or it's like i don't know i like i'm not trying to get into it but that happens too you know and it's just something that you have to work on personally especially if you know there's someone who's actually calling you hitting you up to making sure that you're fine and you're safe and all that stuff, you know? So yeah, but it does feel like that sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I just can't help myself I wanna get a chance to do something else Sometimes I just get overwhelmed I know it's in my mind A good song. <laughs> bro in the gym i see you <laughs> was that a way for him to flex his six pack bro but then y'all know he went to the gym we got a spider-man out there bro hey, what's up man you yeah, put your shirt back on but all right you know that was it that was it i feel like i talked a lot through this video and it's probably gonna be super long i just had a lot to say bro but yeah i can definitely understand how past trauma can keep you from wanting to progress and then, like it makes you struggle or it like it dull it, it dulls your um your growth as a person as well because you'll probably like whether it's like from growing up with like your parents abusive family or whatever to school or relationship there's also like trauma from a relationship where you have like ptsd or whatever it can really affect you and it can it can be hard to like shake it off you know for example if you have a like if you've been in a toxic relationship right you're probably less trusting now so and you bring that over to your next one and it's just something you have to work out before you even you know hop back into one or like figure that out with your partner whatever the case may be you know but yeah this was a great it was a great song it actually sounds really good he doesn't miss like he's been dropping nothing but bangers so that's really dope i wonder when the the next project is gonna drop um but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. You know, if y'all like enjoyed the video, go ahead the like button, maybe even consider subscribing. All that good stuff, you know. Uh y'all be safe. Make sure y'all stay hydrated. This heat wave is fucking ass. I feel like I'm gonna die. Uh but yeah, drink water, stay hydrated, brush your teeth, wash your face, all that good stuff. I'm out of here, bro. Peace.